what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i am coming to you guys with another timu haul yep i know another one um this one was about 120 dollars um all together it did ship out in two separate um two separate shipments um i received one of them a couple of days ago um, with two items and the rest, everything else, I just received today. So, I'm going to get, go ahead and uh, tell you guys what all I got. So, the details, um, specific details on this particular order. Um, like I said, um, this was... Okay. This particular haul, all together was 20 items. And my grand total was 120 My total that I paid was $120.42. Um, and that does include a $40 40, 40 um, coupon that I used for any order over $150. So, um, the full the full total was $152.55 before um, taxes and everything and um, and then the $40 coupon came off and then um, you got to add the sales tax back in and uh, of course shipping is free so my grand total was $120.42 so um and again that was for 20 items y'all okay so I haven't written any prices on anything um so I am going to be consulting with my trusty old tablet right here but I have kind of um, gone through the bag. I've actually opened up the bag and I have gone through and kind of split things up um, into certain categories um, so that I can kind of keep things together. So I'm not like jumping around all over the place as far as the types of items that I'm showing. So for starters, I am going to... <laughs> Take you back and remind you to when I said I wasn't going to be buying a lot of clothes and, and stuff for my daughter because I can get them elsewhere at about the same price or cheaper. Well, I bought her a few things because I figured that if I'm going to be paying that much anyway, Timu has styles and stuff that I wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. So I decided to go ahead and buy her a few things. So we're going to start with that. And first we're going to start out with this cute pair, cute, cute, cute pair of boots. Cute pair of boots. I like her having some boots, like some, why did I tear into this? Zipper's right there, y'all, come on. Um, I like her having some like um, ankle high boots just because it's 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 fun and it just kind of gives you a certain look. So these were $24.48. That's how much I paid for them. And these are the imitation patent leather boots. Y'all. Aren't these the cutest? These are so cute. And it has the zipper on the side. There you go. There you go. And the inside is like this black and white and dark red gingham. Super cute, y'all. Super cute. And I did get her the size um, seven and a half toddler. So, because that's about the size she's in right now. So, super, super, super cute. And I think the... I don't know what the name of these is. A neat... Nissan. I have no idea what the name of these, what the name of this brand is. I feel like that that's it on the back of the, on the little pole thing right there, but I don't know what that says. Anyway, um, I, these aren't like an actual patent leather. They are a faux, um, faux material. Um, kind of, kind of plasticky if I'm being honest, but, um, she, she will wear these a lot. So, um, she might get a couple of wears out of them before she grows out of them. So, um, but yeah, $24.48. Usually, I don't like paying that much for pairs of shoes for her. But, for some black boots, 
I thought they were cute. So, next up, I bought her some shorts as well. <laughs> I bought, her, I bought her a few things in this um, particular haul. Um, I bought her some cute polka dot um, denim polka dot shorts. Let me get them. Um, these aren't really a denim denim. They're like a regular cotton. Um, but I got these. Cute little shorts. And this is a size 1-2. And these were six dollars and seventy four cents so super cute they look actually kind of big for her to be honest but um she's two so they should fit her so i got her these and i'm i'm, I'm holding these up here because i want to show y'all something something else that i got her which i think will go great with these um this is a shirt that i got for her The shirt that I got for and this is that polyester material it's soft don't get me wrong it's soft um like I said I told y'all this was this was four dollars and ninety four cents that is cute that is cute <laughs> super super cute and I just thought this would make a good little good little outfit you know you know <laughs> so that as well and it's very stretchy so outfit that I picked up for her um I also picked her up some like biker shorts um these are like a biker short style they're supposed to be a biker short or just a regular short these are kind of long to be biker shorts. These are going to come down to her knees, y'all. Um, but these are leopard print shorts. They were $5.98. Let me show y'all the front. See what I'm saying? These are kind of long. They're kind of long. Um, and this is the this, this size 1, 2. So like one two use so, or I, they're supposed to be toddler sizes y'all but anyway thought these were super cute um again it's that it's that polyester material but very soft um very soft and it has it does have some stretch to it a little bit stretch not a whole lot but a little bit so pick those up and then Lastly for her, I picked her up a two-pack of leggings. Just some plain, solid color leggings. I can never have enough leggings for her, y'all. Um, because I'm always matching up shirts and tops and stuff with them. T-shirts and various tops and stuff. So, we got have a, what you would call that? Not a jade, jade green, but a nice pretty green. And then you have like a sky blue. So, just some pretty leggings for her. Um, these are stretchy. You have a good bit of stretch into them. So, pick those up for her. And again, those were $7.19 for the two. Um, and I got her these because normally I do buy, um, if I buy her new leggings, they're usually from Carter's. Is the leggings at Carter's are even like about that same price, between six and eight dollars a pair. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, it's just it, I'm putting I'm paying about the same amount of price for the two pairs of leggings. Um, it's actually a, a better price, believe it or not. So I got her those. Probably won't be the last time I buy her leggings and stuff like that from there. Um, so next we are going to move into, um, well, I can go, well, I can go ahead and show you this because this is kind of related to my daughter as well. This is a, this is a cup that I bought for her. 
Um, this cute little green zippy cup. It's got the, you can open it up and there's a straw, close it back. He has a straw and then inside there, you can, you can take this out and not use it if you don't want to use it. Um, I think this would, well, oops, let's break something before I get a chance to use it. Um, I was going to say that this would probably be okay to use by itself, but not with those, not with those threads. All right now. Okay. So just a little sippy cup with the woodland creatures on it. So, um, uh, picked that up. That was $4 and 39 cents. Again, Paying about the same amount of price that I'd pay at Walmart for something like this. Um, next, uh, let's move into like beauty and health, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I figured out something that just happened. Well, I figured, I just figured out something. So this is actually two orders in one. Um, so I have the, the order total that I told you from before. And then I have another total, another order that was five items, and I paid $8.57 for that. Um, apparently, that was put into this bag as well. Um, that one, that order, I think I may have had a credit. Um, I had a little bit of a credit on that one. The second order that was five items was uh, originally ten dollars and twenty three cents, um, plus seventy three cents in tax, and I had a two dollars and thirty nine cent credit from a refund, um, not a refund, but a a price adjustment where something was adjusted down. Um, so apparently those are in this order too. So that's awesome. Um, so. Next, we have um, a pack of 300 um, cotton swabs, um, and these are, they said they're two-headed. Um, so they're, I mean, they're, they got the same on both ends, so, so yeah. Um, there's three of these 100 piece packs in there. And again, that was $1.79. The next thing um, is a pair of earrings. Well, I'll show you something else first because it's more related. Um, <laughs> so the next thing I have to show you let me go back to the other order. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize I was gonna be flipping through different orders. And this is one of these um, face shaver things, uh, razors. Um, I've seen several people haul these. Um, and so I wasn't gonna get them, but I thought I would try them out to see if they're any easier to use because I'm going to be real with y'all. I do have to shave a mustache. I know. As hard as it is to believe, I have to do. Um, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of buzz going on up here. So, um, so these were 89 cents. Um, and they're just, just like a little razor right there. And got kind of, um, some writing on the back here. Y'all know I can't see without my glasses. And, um. Uh, skin protection, stainless steel safety cover is used to protect women's delicate and sensitive skin. Um, tinkle eyebrow razors removes the fine hairs of the eyebrow, neck, and face as well as unnecessary hairs elsewhere. Tinkle eyebrow razor has a stainless steel safety cover attached to each, bla each blade to protect a woman's sensitive skin and protect the blade from cutting too closely while shaving. Even beginners can easily and safely use it. And then it gives you some instructions on how to use it. So, I guess I'm going to try that out. See how I like those. Um, next up, 
I guess I can go ahead and show you my jewelry now. Um, let me go back. <laughs> I apologize. I really didn't realize that I was going to be um, going back and forth between two quarters. How am I getting into this? Okay. So the next thing, like I just said, is a pair of earrings. And I thought these were so pretty. These were a dollar and 68 cents. This wire is very thin and very flexible. And not necessarily in the best way. So, cute little um, beaded earrings. So, I guess I'll go ahead and put those on. I'll change the spell. Um, so if you're not careful, apparently, the, um, the beads can slide off of this end here. Yeah. So if you're not careful. So I'm going to put that on. Oh so yeah. Might not be able to see them that well. So anyway, dollar and sixty-eight cents for these. I really wonder what fell. Something fell. I don't think it was important, but something fell. I feel like something fell. Anyway, so moving on. So next up, um, we have I have a necklace, and this was in the other order. <laughs> I promise y'all, if I had realized that this was two separate orders, I probably would have just separated it out. So, this is a necklace that I bought. As you can see, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I didn't buy a lot of jewelry in this order. I did buy a little bit, but not a lot. Um, this is a gorgeous, this looks like, feels like real stone beads. Um, let me take the protection off of the tassel. So this is a gorgeous necklace that I bought, really long. You can see it. So it's it's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty long. See? Yeah. But um. Um. Uh, so this was five dollars and seventy nine cents. So anyway, so there you go. Like I said, these feel really good. These feel actually like stone. They're nice and heavy. So there's, it's got some got a little bit of weight to it. These, however, feel like like a satin satin type of thread. So pick that up. I'm, not, I'm trying to improve my necklace selection. Um, and then also for the jewelry, I picked up something that I need to go back to the other order for. Um, this is a an earring holder. This was a dollar and ninety eight cents comes just like this plastic um, and it's literally just you have this piece of um, piece of the thick plastic right here and assume you put put that in there like that and then all of like your little post earrings and stuff you can, and I mean I guess even your hook earrings I guess you could still put in there too let's see <laughs> so I mean I guess you could put them put them in there but this is more like mo more for like your post style earrings so um again dollar and 98 cents I'm not going to take that apart I'm just going to leave it together like that okay. all right um one last thing that's kind of 
beauty and home and personal related. I picked up this cute little coin purse. A little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was really kind of wanting a smaller one. Um, cute, picked up this cute faux leather coin purse. And it has the like elastic like snap top. So it feels really soft and it feels like leather. So pick that up and looks like that on the inside. Um, because I want to keep this in my, um, my, my bag that I take to work so that I can keep, like, money or change or something in it. Um, and that was a dollar and 19 cents. Um, moving on to something somewhat related. I did pick up a couple of bras. Um, because I'm obviously trying to try all the bras from Timu. Not really, but it seems like it. Um, so this first one was $6.29. And I got, ooh, it's got some padded, um, padded straps here. Um, I picked up the size 40D. So it's better fit y'all. <laughs> so really pretty. It's got this nice pattern on it. So we're gonna give that a shot. And this one, um, it's not really like stretch, stretch in there. It's got the, the, the strap is padded. It's got some padding in there. Um, and there's a little bit of padding on the inside here. Um, and the straps are just like your standard, standard bra straps, not straps, but a um, band. So it's like just your standard bra. So, I thought this was really pretty. I'm going to try that out and see if I like it. And um, I will give you my thoughts down below. Right right here on the screen. <laughs> and I bought, and I got another bra. Um, this one is, is also very pretty. And this was $5.84. And This one is a little bit lighter than it was showing on the screen. Um, this one is not, it doesn't have a molded cup, which I thought it did. Um, that one, that one isn't, is what they call a molded cup. This is not a molded cup. Um, but this one, um, it's got the flowers and a little bit of the lace de detailing at the top. I mean, it's partially molded. It's not fully molded. It is a soft cup, though. So, pick that up. Um, standard, standard straps and standard bra band. So, we're going to give that a shot. Um, and that was also a 40D. So, I think when I try to order bras, from Timu, I'm going to err on the side of bigger. So, what do I want to show y'all next? Um, we can do some home and kitchen stuff next. Um, well, you know what, let's, let's do, I'm going to show y'all these. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the next two things I'm going to show y'all actually came prior to today. They came like a couple of days ago. And I have been kind of playing around with them to kind of test them out and stuff. So this first thing, make sure I don't completely drop everything. Um, so this first thing is these Lenovo um, wireless earbuds. And these were $10.48. And these are genuine Lenovo brand earbuds. It does come with a little mini charger cable. Um, dang it. 
I just don't have it together today, y'all. Um, and it did also come with some extra, the rubber pieces that go around the ends. I'm gonna, I'm about to show you what they go around. Um, so this is the earbuds. Um, and I did, I did spend some time messing, messing around with these. Um, they're off right now. Um, because I don't have the earbuds in them. But, they do pair up very easily with my phone. Um, I have an iPhone 11. And so, you can see, you can see the light is on now. So, um, and they're probably about to pair with my phone as we speak. Um, but they do pair up very easily. Um, it does have actually the light on the inside of the, on the, the things right there. Um, and what you do, um, and one thing I kind of figured out is if you're looking at it, like if you're looking at it like this, this is your left ear because it's on the left and this is the right ear because it's on the right. So I don't know why my brain never figured that out before, but I'm going to put that in and assuming it's paired, um, what you would do is it has like a little touch touch pad right here and it just paired <laughs> i heard the, the noise in my ear um it has like a touch pad right here and to say if you're listening to music you would touch it once to play or to pause it and then you would touch it once again to play it again if you double tap it will go to the next track now, if you're doing that, you kind of have to have both earbuds in because the left one makes it go back a track and the right one makes it go forward a track to like, if you touch on, if you double touch on the left one, it'll, it'll take it back one, um, to the previous. But if you uh, double tap on the right one, it, it takes it forward to the next one. Now, triple tapping. <laughs> Triple tapping. Um, there is a command for triple tapping. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it's volume. I think it's volume. Triple tapping on triple tapping on the right one will increase the volume, and triple tapping on the left one will decrease the volume. It's something like that. It does come with instructions. Um, but um I, I think they're really i think they're really good i i I've, I've had a chance to actually listen to them listen to some music on my phone through these and the sound quality is pretty good i'm not an expert in sound quality so don't hold me to anything i'm not gonna say it's fantastic i'm not gonna say they're bad it's not bad it's really good quality but but am i an expert enough to say oh they're it's top notch i don't know but it's a lenovo so they're really good quality so so I'm gonna put that back in here. And there is supposed to be a an off button, I think. Maybe not. Um either or. Um I think once they're closed for a while it'll turn off. Trying to get these back in here because <laughs> the way they have this package is not the easiest okay okay so pick those up i'm really good i'm really happy with my purchase on these because i'm always needing a second pair of wireless earbuds um and again these were 1048 um the next thing i want to go ahead and show y'all that was in that uh separate order that came the other day um i picked up this um little cute 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 um cat nightlight yeah just right there okay this is a silicone cat nightlight it comes like this so with this little guy it does take three AAA batteries and it has a power button on the bottom 
and right now it's off not doing anything and so it has a power button right here on the bottom and we'll turn that on and then come on now <laughs> there we go see now it's like on on it the light is on and tap it again and it changes to like different colors green and then we're gonna go to blue and purple so I thought this was really cute and then back to blue again so but uh, so yeah and then you just and it turns it off so um when I first I first tried to use this I did put this in my daughter's room the other night and I wasn't really paying attention to how long it was on um I just know when I woke up the next morning it was off and I was tap trying to tap it and it wasn't doing anything so I thought it killed the battery um in one night but I started looking I started thinking about it and I started looking and there is an automatic off um after one hour so if you have it on um after an hour it automatically turns itself off and then we just have to go back in and click on that power button again and then and then you can tap it you pretty much have to tap on it like at the bottom yeah maybe you can do it like that it's fine anyway um see either or Anyway, uh, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought this was super cute and I love this. And I'm, I'm going to be using it in my daughter's room again. Um, so I just think this is super fun. And did I tell you all the price on that? Um, that was This was $6.58. So and it's a silicone. It's kind of squishy. Um, if you try to squish it in, it'll go back. <laughs> so super cute. And like I said, it does come with some instructions. One side is all in another language. I'm not going to say one language over the other. But uh, one side is in another language and the other side is in English. Um, so, yeah. So, loving that. Like I said, I'm going to put that in my daughter's room again for use tonight and future nights. So, um. So that was like the electronics portion, right? Um, I'm going to take these off because they're starting to like scrape against the side of my neck right here. Um, so the next thing, I have a three pack. And I bet you're wondering, what do you got there? And the honest truth is, I had to look this up because I'm trying to feel around in this without opening it up. I'm like, what is that? And it's like, I'm feeling like, it kind of feels like a bulb of some sort. Cause I couldn't remember what I ordered. Um, and then I had to go back and look through my order. And I figured it out. So what these are, all three of these are the same thing. I'm just going to open one. Um, and these are a set of ratchet um, screwdrivers. A set. Come just like this. These were, for the set of three, it's $14.78. Comes with, I don't know if it's a ratchet screwdriver. Yeah, it is. It says it is. Um, comes with this cute little screwdriver bulb um, thing right here. And then you have all these different screwdriver heads we've got some hex ones we've got some all just all different kinds y'all all different kinds so um so we're just we're gonna start with um and these are actually all one piece so it's like one on one end so um so it's like double ended so we're going to do your regular
stick with me as I try to figure this out. I guess it just plops down in there. I mean, you can hear it ratcheting, but does it lock into place? That's, that's the keyword that I am looking for. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. So this little piece right here, you got to push it down and then you can put that in there and then it kind of locks it. So, so yeah, it's your screwdriver. There you go. Or, I mean, it's, yep. Yeah. So that is really neat. Um, and like I said, I got three of these. Um, which will probably be kept in different places. Um, maybe in our, one in our drawer in here, one, he's probably my, maybe out in his toolbox or something. But, uh, we got three of them we can decide what to do with. So, that is really neat. Um, like I said, that for the three, for the three of them, it was $14.78. So, super fun. Well, how can tools be fun, right? Um, so next I want to show you guys some, a couple of kitchen and home items. So the next thing I got was a set of these adjustable measuring cups. I know I've seen a couple other people haul these in their Timu hauls. Um, and so... I thought, what the hey? <laughs> um, if it saves me from having to have so many measuring cups and stuff in my drawer, then all all the better. So it's something like this. And then, yeah, this cup. And it does have silicone, um, like a seal, a border around the edge of it. It's just plastic. Um, and then you go from So, okay, I'm looking at, so this side over here, um, so this side over here, you're dealing with tablespoons, I guess. If you, if you, if the recipe says you need like two tablespoons, um, or you need three tablespoons of something, that's where you need to be at. Um, or if you need a cup over here, you have cups, um, and that's your, that's your cup full cup right there or half a cup sorry half a cup right maybe that's half a cup I want to do some measuring because that looks about like a cup um, on the side you have ounces and on this side you have milliliters if you're um, doing liquid measurements and um, if you're not in the United States and then we have a smaller one that is in teaspoons and tablespoons so we got the big side which is tablespoons and then the little side which is teaspoons um, again on one side we have ounces and on the other side we have milliliters so it's the same and I'm guessing this little piece right here that must be a one-eighth of a table of a teaspoon right this is y'all this is like it's I would assume that was teaspoons but it's like it says three and then two and one like I don't know I'm gonna have to kind of look this over 
So there's magnets on the bottoms of these. Um, could you like nest them in each other, maybe? Unless you, um, I mean, I stick each other, but unless maybe you put these up on the side of the fridge or something, um, on something magnetic. Um, it has a hang hole that you can hang it from. Um, so, I'm guessing that's the case. So, is that one teaspoon? Yeah. It probably is. So, that's one teaspoon. So, these must be, like, judging by, like, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three teaspoons. Um. And then that one must be a half. So. Yeah. So. Got those. Um. We're gonna see if they save me any room. Hold on. Okay, that works good enough. So, yes, pick those up. And did I tell y'all they were $4.98? Um, I also picked up a apple slicer. I think it was in the other order. So I picked up this apple slicer and this was, that's some pretty good stainless steel. Um, and this was a dollar and 79 cents. There's really no fluff for me to tell you about this. Um, I mean, the blades aren't so, so sharp that they're just going to cut me just like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, the one we had broke, so I needed a new one. So I can tell you all about that. Just another um, apple slicer. I will have to, you know, be more mindful of this stuff in the pa in the future, because both of these orders did not say they were out for delivery today. They were still in transit, so I did not expect them. I was expecting um, one thing. I was expect I was expecting something, which I actually don't even have. Um, unless that's coming a different method, unless that's coming through USPS or something. Um, but, uh, if that should, if that is in the mail, I'll have to throw it in to the video. So, but, um, got some of these, um, whiteboard markers. Um, I'm always looking for whiteboard markers that write well, um, and show and actually like are bright dark because you get a lot of them and they're just they don't really show up they don't work that well um the only ones i found so far that i like are the um god i can't think of them right now um i think it's sharpie it's, i think it's by sharpie brand um I can't think of the name of them, but I think that's the only ones that I found so far. But these um, have like, have the, the eraser part on each end. Um, and I can't really test it out right now. Um, so it looks like it has a fine tip to it. A lot of the ones that I find are like, they have like a bullet, bullet tip or a chisel tip. Um, and then, the, like, the ones that say they're fine tip are actually too fine. Um, they actually don't, they're not very dark because they're fine tip. So, I'm going to try those out. And, um, I'm going to insert a little video clip in to kind of show me testing them out. But, uh, you get one, two, three, four, eight colors. So, 
I'm gonna test those out. Okay guys, so I am here giving you guys a little bit of a review on these um, whiteboard markers that I bought from Timu. Y'all, I am loving these. I actually accidentally rubbed that one out. I'm loving these things. Look, 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 look at this. You see how small I like to write on my whiteboard? Sorry, let me get y'all back in here for a minute. Look at that. I love these things, y'all. These are perfect. These are perfect for what I need. And like I said, I write small. You see my hand for reference. I write. I usually write pretty small. I, and I've, I've been known to write kind of small on my whiteboard because it's not a big whiteboard. You see? Not a big whiteboard. Um, this is our dinner list. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a little quick overview of how these things write. So, yeah. these. I said these size of these so look like this right this uh these little erasers here on the end they do work pretty good yeah so yeah definitely definitely recommend these from timu um and then the next thing the next thing is kind of like multiple pieces um but i bought them separately um, I'm wondering what this is. Oops, sorry guys. Sorry, my, my daughter's in bed and I'm watching her. I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking it is. I'm wondering if this is what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> no? What? Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Might be missing something, y'all. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my orders. Or maybe it's coming later. Um, but I guess this would fall under the electronics <laughs> um, stuff again. I bought a um, car vacuum. And this was um, $9.49. Um... And this and you have your power button here. Um, little hole in here where your in here where your attachments go. This is your cord. Um, plug that in. That plugs into your cigarette lighter. And then you have like all these different attachments that you put in to get into different areas. And then you have like a hose, you can do this. And then we have a hose. And then put that in there. And then like that. So like if you needed to vacuum like the seats and stuff or in the dash, down inside the dash, so, so this, I mean, this is, this is a little thin, um, thin plastic, but overall, I think it'll be okay, and you got one, how many attachments, technically two attachments, but then you've got, all right now, come out, you got two separate attachments, and then you've got one, Two, and then where did the other one went? Where did the other one go? Just had it. Lord have mercy. Y'all see me losing my mind, right? Anyway, it's got two different attachment ends for that hose. So I'm gonna have to try that out and see how that goes. I'm assuming there's some way to open this up. Um, but I'm going to have to play around with this and I will get back to you. It does have instructions, so that's good. So it does have a few instructions. Not much, but a few. So 
swear I'm losing my mind, y'all. I guess I will find it. It'll turn up. Um, but I literally just had it. And I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, we're going to move on. Um, so the next thing to show you, um, I did get a couple of flags, um, although I don't have the actual flag hanger yet. Um, this first one, let me show you this one first. Which I'm right here at it. Um, this first one is an Easter, both of these are Easter flags. Um, this one is nice. It's like the, the satin material. Um, it's an Easter flag. And this is like Happy Easter. And it's the same on both sides. Um, this was $3.38. Um, it does have the pocket right there for your flagpole. That bunny butt just kills me. <laughs> I just thought he was so cute. I had to I had to get this one. And the thing is when I went to order it it was out of stock at first. And then I waited for it to come back in stock. And it came back in stock and it was there. I'm like I have to go ahead and order it. Um and then this next one it's also an Easter one. Um, I think I was, I had ordered this one, um, for starters. Um, because I was waiting on that other one to come in. Um, nope, wrong one. Sorry, I gotta go back here. Did I say that one was three dollars and thirty-eight cents? Cause that one was three dollars and thirty-eight cents. Oh goodness gracious, y'all! I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. There we go. This order. Okay. Okay. So that one was three dollars and thirty-eight cents. This one, um, I had ordered um, to begin with. Because the other one was out of stock. And this one is also like a satin material. This one was $2.99. It's another Easter one. So, super cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one also has the pocket at the top for your flag. Yeah really nice feel it, feel, it really feels re really nice so pick that up and then almost done y'all I have a couple of uh, home things to show you and then I'll be done um so then I also picked up I think both of these are in the other order I'm telling y'all we're not doing this again. <laughs> okay. So. So the next thing I picked up. I picked up a. Little. Um, I don't know what do you call it. Like a little basket tote thing. Um, with instructions. Um. And it's cute. It's got unicorns on it. Um, it folds out. <coughs> mm, sorry. Um, but this has a little um, plastic. What you would call it like a sheet that 
that comes out of this you, that it, you attach in here to these little Velcro strips right here. And you load your toys onto this sheet and then you just, you just can dump them straight in there. Um, so we're gonna have to see how that works. And this lid is a little bit, um, a little bit folded. So, but we're gonna have to kind of get in there and see if this works the way it's supposed to. Um, I don't know, this thing's taking up a good bit of room in the bottom. So, I don't know. Um, and then you have the lid right there. So, um, my intention was to get this for her, like, Duplo kind of blocks, um, that she had, which is like the big version of the Legos. Um, because she loves pulling those things out, y'all. She loves just, just dumping them out. Just taking the bag and just dumping them out completely. Um, and I got this hoping that it would fit them all. I don't know if it's going to, though. I was, I was hoping this would be a little bit bigger. Um, and plus that sheet in the bottom is taking up some real estate. Um, but we'll see. Um, we'll find something to put in there. Like I said, it does come with instructions. That kind of gives you an idea of what you're supposed to do. So, but again, that was $13.98. And last item, y'all. Last item. Um, next up, I have a three-pack of these um, storage... Um, storage bins. These are pretty good size. Um, my plan is to pack away like our, I mean, I'll pack away our blankets and stuff like that in our sweaters. So good, um, like a, I wouldn't call this a canvas, but it's a thick uh, cloth. Um, got handles on either side like that. And I think this is meant to be like the front side of it. So you'd have handles, you can't see me like this. And that would be, that would be the front side of it. And this is probably the top. One of these is the top. <laughs> um, yeah, this is your top zipper right here. Sorry y'all. Um, but yeah, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, here's the zipper. So yeah, make sure. Oh, that was open. That was that was open. Okay, cool. Good to know. <laughs> so yeah, good bit of storage there. So, and like I said, I got a three pack of those, and for the three pack was only ten dollars and eighteen cents. So, put this back up real quick. So definitely gonna use these to pack some things away but that's gonna do it for me for today guys um this was another long one i tried to um cut down on some time by you know organizing things a little bit but it just didn't happen still ended up being long um but that's it for right now um i gotta get off of here because <laughs> i think he's waiting to come back in here um but uh, I hope you guys saw something that you liked. If you did, let me know down in the comments. And please like and subscribe and see more Timu hauls in the future. So, But I'll t until I see you guys again next time, be good. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.